here we have a tank uh, connected to a multi-fluid manometer. The um, top of the tank is filled with air at a at an unknown pressure. It's uh, the gauge pressure of that air is the unknown we're trying to determine. The other end of the manometer, the open end of the manometer, is open to atmosphere. So I'm going to uh, put a note to myself that over here I have atmospheric pressure. Uh, first, I'm going to show you that uh, the total height of the water tank is not important in this case. Uh, we have water here. The light blue color is water. Then the orange color liquid is oil. And then gray color liquid is mercury. The information given is water uh, density, 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. Oil density is 850 kilograms per meters cubed, and the density of mercury is 13,600 kilograms per meter cubed. And H1 here, 0.2 meters, H2 is 0.3 meters, and H3 is 0.4 meters. So in a situation like this, what should the gauge pressure of air here be to keep this system open to the atmosphere and this end in, uh, in a condition like this. Um, okay. As I mentioned, I'm going to show that the total height or depth of the water column is not important. So for now, let's call this point one. And here, which is at the level of the inlet to the tube, point two, and up here, point three. Let's give it some values. Let's say from the age from one to two is four meters. And then the H from two to three is three meters. So let's use the equation for changing hydrostatic pressure, which is rho GH, delta B is rho GH, and the fluid here is water. So let's do that starting from point one. So we have P1, which is the gauge pressure of air. For now, it, it doesn't matter if it's gauge or uh, atmospheric pressure. So to find P2, because we are moving down from point one to two, we have to add terms. So P2 is equal to P1 plus rho water G H, that H is H from one to two. Then P3, we're moving up from two to three. So we have to subtract. So P2, P3 is P2 minus rho times G times H two to three. Right? So let's combine these two. It means that P3 is P2, and P2 is P1 plus rho G H 1 to 2. That's this part. Then minus rho G H 2 to 3. Right? So we can rearrange this. You show P3 is P1 plus, let's factor rho G because it's constant. Then we have H from 1 to 2 minus H from 2 to 3. 
let's look at here h from 1 to 2 minus h from 2 to 3 is h from 1 to 3. So this is equal to p1 plus rho g h1. This here, 2 to 2, we cancel out moving up to 2 to 3 because this is a positive, this is negative. So we have to just consider uh, this height, h1, from this level to this level. All right. So um, I'm going to scratch the previous label and then create my new labels. So point one here, this should be point two, then this is the same liquid all the way. So when I go to the other side, same level, I label it three, then I go down, there's an interface between two fluids, I label it four, all the way to the other side, I label it five, go up to the final uh, level and label it six. So I have point one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now use the general equation. Delta P is rho G H. All right. So starting from point one, P one is P air. So P one, which is P air, we take like that. P two is P one moving down from one to two plus rho. What is the liquid? It is water. Rho G times H from one to two is called H one here. Then go to point three. P three is on the other side and the same level. So P3 must be equal to P2, same level. Next we have um, point four. So from three to four, point P4 is equal to, from three to four, we're moving down. We have to add, so it's P3 plus rho this time, density, the fluid is oil. So rho oil, G, H. In this case, from three to four, it's called H2. Then we move to point five, P5 is equal to P4 because it's at the same level. Then the last point is P6. P6 is from five to six, we're moving up. So we have to subtract P5 minus rho, and for this case, gray fluid is mercury, rho mercury, G, H, which in this case, from 5 to 6 is H3. So now that, now that we have a uh, set of all the equations, we can uh, finally calculate uh, P air. So I'm going to write it here, starting from left, then P air plus rho water G H1 plus rho oil G H2 minus rho mercury G H3 will be equal to P6, which is atmospheric pressure. So since we want to calculate the gauge pressure of air, P air minus the atmosphere is P air gauge. Then I'll take 
all these terms to the other side, we're going to have rho mercury G H3 minus rho water G H1 minus rho oil G H2. Now it's ready for uh, plugging in numbers. Rho mercury 13,600 times 9.8 times 0.4 minus rho water times 9.8 times 0.2 meters minus rho oil times 9.8 times 0.3. So gauge pressure of air will be equal to 48,853 Pascal or 48.853 kilopascal.